Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 27th of September, Tuesday of the week of Pentecost 16. Augustine, Bishop of Hippo, 354, 430. This part of the human race to which God has promised pardon and a share in his eternal kingdom, can they be restored through the merit of their own works? God forbid. For what good work can a lost man perform except so far as he has been delivered from perdition? Can they do anything by the free determination of their own will? Again, I say God forbid. For it was by the evil use of his free will that man destroyed both it and himself. For as a man who kills himself must, of course, be alive when he kills himself, but after he has killed himself, ceases to live and cannot restore himself to life, so when man by his own free will sinned, then sin, being victorious over him, the freedom of his will was lost. For of whom a man is overcome of the same, he is bought in bounty. 2 Peter 2, 19. This is the judgment of the apostle Peter, and it's certainly true. What kind of liberty, I ask, can the bond slave possess except when it pleases him to sin? For he is freely in bondage who does with pleasure the will of his master. Accordingly, he who is a servant of sin is free to sin, and hence he will not be free to do right until being freed from sin, he shall begin to be the servant of righteousness. And this is true liberty, for he has pleasure in the righteous deed, and it is at the same time a holy bondage, for he is obedient to the will of God. But whence comes this liberty to do right to the man who is in bondage and sold under sin, except he be redeemed by him who has said, quote, if the Son shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed, John 8, 36. And before this redemption is wrought in a man, when he is not yet free to do what is right, how can he talk of the freedom of his will and his good works, except he be inflated by that foolish pride of boasting, which the apostle restrains when he says, by grace you are saved through faith. And the prayer. Brooke Westcott, 1825-1901. Almighty God, who has sent the Spirit of truth unto us to guide us into all truth, so rule our lives by thy power that we may be truthful in word, deed, and thought. O keep us, most merciful Savior, with thy gracious protection, that no fear or hope may ever make us false in act or speech, cast out from us whatsoever loveth or maketh a lie, and bring us all to the perfect freedom of thy truth. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. Amen.